Hunters, we're looking at your class today. Yes, we're taking a look at Spectral Blades. It received these nerfs on Tuesday. Some major tweaks in terms of its resistance when in stealth and out of stealth. Super duration was also toned down across the board, but probably the biggest one is the light melee cost has been increased by 50%. The reason why I say that's a big one, this is kind of hard for many of the Spectral Blade users that I see inside of Crucible, at least previously before 2.2.2. You see, every time I ever saw a Spectral Blade user, I just saw that melee button being mashed to hell and back. Now with the light melee cost being increased, you can no longer do that. Now, it doesn't actually like take away a chunk of your super when you do the light melee cost. What it actually does is you have this consistent super duration drain. And then the moment you do a melee attack, and you're coming out of it, you'll notice that the super duration drain speeds up. I know I had some people commenting on Twitter saying that the super hasn't changed at all. No, it actually has. It just doesn't reflect it in big chunks like it does the heavy attack. It just speeds up the super duration drain. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the super, guys. Is it still a viable super inside of Crucible as well as PvE? First up, Crucible, though, yes. It's still very much a viable super. You just can't be brain dead about it. Panic pop in this super is no longer a wise choice whereas before you could literally run up to a group of enemies have everyone shoot shotguns off at you pop your super and then proceed to get a team wide as if nothing happened on top of that super duration lasted so long that you could just literally run to their spawn and kill them again so there was lots of frustration towards spectral blades because of this now that's not really the case panic popping is a lot more difficult because simply put the damage resistance overall has been toned down enough that people could back up and actually effectively team shot you now all of the gameplay you see here is actually with gwizen's vest so i want to see how gwizen is still performing on spectral blades and some of this gameplay is actually before the sandbox update and of course after i'll say that before the sandbox update when i pop my spectral blades i fear nothing literally nothing maybe another super but for the most part nothing i knew i had plenty of time i could kill a team fix a cup of tea and then proceed to go to the next spawn and kill them again you can't do that anymore or not as effectively at least now you got to skip tea time overall guys the super changes to spectral blades inside of crucible now require spectral blade users to be a lot more tactical a lot more effective efficient in how they use their supers. No longer can you sit there and just spam your melee attack. You want to take advantage of constantly being invisible to up that damage resistance, and you want to be sneakier with how you pop your supers. You got wall hacks. You've got a deadly smoke melee. You're a hunter, so you're automatically evasive. Guys, you got a lot of things in your utility belt there that makes you a nasty subclass to deal with. So I don't want people to think that Spectral Blades is now garbage, because it's not. It's just been brought to balance. It's definitely not the strongest super by all means bottom tree striker is probably the strongest super in terms of taking out large groups of enemies and in terms of like one-on-one -on -one super versus super fights spectral blades is kind of iffy like sometimes it snags me kills and i'm like hell yeah this super is all right it can handle itself against other supers and then other times i don't even know what happens it just dies really the best supers for dealing with other supers is probably golden gun it's like even that can melt straight through a signal shield so if you're a good shot with goldie you can pretty much mess up any super storm is also really really good right now matter of fact we're probably like in a storm caller meta right now just not many people know about it and of course thirdly or in my opinion it kind of ties Dawnbreaker and hammers both of those like kind of tie for me like any given day it really just comes down to the user if i get a hammer out and arch it just right to you i'm gonna snag you especially if it's top tree hammers but of course dom blade has got some crazy aerial game as well as movement so they are definitely difficult to deal with those to me seem like the top supers in terms of 1v1 super situations as good as bottom tree striker is and a lot of people praise that super and a lot of people wanted to be nerfed and i'm sure it's going to get toned up again at some point it is a garbage super to 1v1 other supers spectral blades is probably close to that level it's probably not as garbage as like the hit registration on bottom tree striker can be so funky in super fights but the reason why i say spectral blades is just better is because just the neutral game overall it's just too damn good so guys spectral blades still a very good super there's going to be a lot of people migrate away from it just because you can't get away with all the cheesy stuff that it used to be able to get away with it is requiring more strategic and tactical play but for my users that hang with it i think you'll be just fine and again having the strongest neutral game probably overall is more than enough to make up for that well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right